Hi guys, welcome to Mark and Sam After Work. Today I've got a video I want to bring to you about a um, basically hunting versus um, target rifles. Um, something industry sort of going with a little bit hybrid rifles is, is, is largely what they're talking about there. But it's a rifle to do all things and I suppose my thoughts on that. Um, uh, I suppose I would start by saying there are places where this can work, um, where it is um, the type of hunting you're doing, the type of target shooting um, are a nice combination that work really well. But by and large, they don't. By and large, they're not the same thing. And I want to generalize it in going to the specific places you can get tangled up and lost and, 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 and the argument works or doesn't work or whatever. But in the general side of things, between a target rifle made for shooting accurately and made for doing everything in the position that you target shoot um, with all the features that make it a good target rifle is almost the opposite of a hunting rifle which is set up for the position you shoot in for hunting with all the features that make it good for a target rifle. Now in the logic of things, there's a couple of reasons people look at this, is that obviously you want a hunting rifle to shoot very accurately, so that makes it a target rifle, doesn't it? Um, and obviously if you've got a really good target rifle, it would be good at hunting because it's very accurate. So they're both the same, aren't they? Um, the, the thing is that they are dramatically different. Yes, you want a hunting rifle to shoot accurately, but you are largely the weak link when it comes to hunting and even more so in hunting because you are, for the majority of hunting, short of obviously if you're setting up in a blind with a bench rest set up and you're just shooting at one place where you've got bags and bits and pieces and everything set up really nicely then well there's not a lot of difference you know as long as you don't have to trek a long way to get you to to your blind or hide or have it one you'd call it out there then there's not a lot of difference and i and i get that like i said once you go in the specific it gets confusing but largely with a hunting rifle you want to be able to stalk you want to be able to shoot offhand leaning up against the tree maybe prone all over the place you want to be able to use it for all that sort of stuff in stalking, you want it lightweight, so you want to be able to carry it places. Um, in shooting offhand, you want to be able to lift it up and shoot in offhand form rather than, uh, well, I can't really do that without laying down prone, but rather than the prone form. Um, with the way your muzzle brake works, using one or not using one, using one that's designed for hunting so there's not so much blast back to you, um, there's quite different on that side of things. Your scope picture, uh, sorry, your, your scope height to, compared to the rifle. The way you grip, largely you're going to want to run forehand on your target on your rifle um, because largely on whether you're shooting across the bottom of your truck, whether you're shooting up against a tree, when in most other positions you're going to want to use your forehand up the front here and you're going to want, your, you're going to want the weight position to where it's very easy to carry in your hand side of things. Um, butt pad height, Really, I can go on for a long time. Um, of all those things I mentioned, none of them are the same as a target rifle. A target rifle, in the various forms you can use it, whether it's got a flat forend because you're running on a bag up the front there, uh, whether you're running on the style of bipod you're running, your cheek pad, uh, your um, butt pad height, you really want it more in line because you're shooting it down to where you want to shoot as, as flat axis as possible and you're prepared to put your head up further in the air to run with a higher scope because your scope's set up. The style of scope you're using, the, the turret you're using, the muzzle brake, the, the, everything, and I can go on for a long time about the differences, but really the real qualities of a target rifle versus the real qualities of a hunting rifle are completely different. Um, even down to, you know, I've heard mentioned previously, you could get two different stock set up, so you could just bolt your action out and bolt one in this for hunting and bolt this one for, for, for target shooting. Not really, because to be truthful, the barrel you're going to use for a target rifle, done as well as it can be, is a very, is a lot heavier barrel, um, less tapering, more weight, it puts more weight forward on the rifle generally, but then you balance it up by pulling more weight in the back and all of a sudden you've turned it into a good target rifle's 
normally around the 18, 20 pounds. Uh, maybe as little as 15, maybe as much as 30. But not something you want to stalk with, not something you want to carry with at all. So there's actually nothing. Uh, triggers, another point that I'd say, you know, I'd, to be truthful, a good target trigger is around one pound. Some people run down to half, some people are one and a half, that sort of stuff, but around one pound. Um, that is really, as much as you can do it, that is really too light to run for hunting. Um, yes, it makes for the absolute most accurate, but it also makes for, in any dynamic situation, the likes of an accidental discharge, the likes of a negligent discharge, the, basically firing the trigger before you really want the trigger to go off is very likely. You don't want that. You're really up in the two pounds where you start, the two and a half, three, three and a half pounds is really where your, where your hunting triggers are. Now there's people who do things differently and run closer, but you still find generally in a hunting rifle, you want that little bit more weight so that you have that little bit more definite pull through. The ultimate deal is that in most hunting, you really are going to be happy. It, what will do the job is a one and a half MOA um, group is going to do the job fine. In target shooting, no, that's not going to be close. That's, that's going to be a bad day. One and a half MOA, um, if you've got good conditions and you're shooting one and a half MOA, then you pack her up and take her home. You know, it's really for target shooting, you really should be down in your one MOA or better. And obviously you're trying to make a rifle that is down in the quarter MOA, but you're using all those features to get there, which are just not required in your hunting rifle. So the, like I said, there's circumstances where that will vary and, and where the, 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 I suppose what I'm trying to say is it's, I'm definitely not trying to say that a hunting rifle couldn't do the target job. And I'm definitely not saying that a target rifle couldn't do the hunting job. But the truth of it is when you try and put good money into getting something to do both things well, you're actually putting good money into doing neither of those jobs very well. You would be smarter to go with the fact, okay, this is what I want to do with this rifle and spend your money on that one. Um, and then this is what I want to do with the next rifle and spend your money on that one and do them properly in both directions. For those who can't afford it and I just got to get one, okay, there's, there's absolutely no, no wrong with that, nothing wrong with that sort of stuff, but I wouldn't spend extra money on trying to do it a hybrid. I would spend the extra money on just making the features, the normal features, better, to do the job better. My honest opinion, in most cases, the hybrid is a sales strategy. It is trying to convince you it's going to do both jobs well. Whereas by and large, it is going to be what it is. It's going to be, it's more about your shooting position um, and it's more about the, the calibre. There's bits and pieces that certainly have some qualities to them. But I suppose what I'm trying to say is uh, don't get bamboozled by the sales side of it. Um, look at the rifle for, for what it is, not its name and not what they're trying to say it is. Look at it for what it suits you and what you understand of it. Um, and I suppose for those people who are trying to take this hunting rifle and make it shoot target, uh, an incident that I recently banged into and the reason I started this conversation was I heard of a guy, I, 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 I don't know the guy, I don't know anyone's names, not that I would share anyway, but he's a very, very good, very accomplished hunter in the way of offhand shooting up to sort of offhand, off the bonnet, off the jig, off whatever it is, but all sorts of shooting for 30 years of that sort of stuff, really good at it, really quite accurate, out to 500 yards, that sort of stuff, you know, headshot sort of guy, does a really good job in the hunting, in the hunting side of things. And then he's setting up with one of his bigger calibers to do shots where he wants, feels that the, the, the type of terrain, the type of thing they can do, they can stretch it out to very long hunting shots. I think we're talking 800 yards. So longer than he would ever go generally, but it's the right sort of situation, that sort of stuff, but needs that next level of, ac next level of accuracy. Um, he is finding that both through the way his rifles are set up, but also through the way he's used to shooting, that that is just so hard to do. He actually, in the, the story to me was that, you know, at 500 yards, he does a better job um, off the side of the truck that he does, than he does with the prone shooting, which is 
and to start off with, he's looking at the fact that he's doing something really wrong, but it's really much more about the fact that his rifle is set up for that sort of shooting and a prone, it is not walking, working properly. It's not comfortable and it's not performing properly because of that scenario. Um, and then in, in going through the conversation and in and looking at it and thinking about it as something that has always sort of rasped me a little bit, the hybrid rifle, that, that strategy, it is definitely sales. Um, and I suppose the more I move forward, the more I realise that what I think is obvious is not always obvious. So hence the, um, hence the conversation, hence what I'm trying to put forward. Anyway, guys, that's my thoughts on it. Um, like I said, there are specifics that can change that to where it will work in both places. Um, but that's uh, something I wanted to share. On that note, uh, you like the video, please like, share, subscribe, do all that sort of stuff, helps us out. Um, and for those people um, that don't realize we're not a sponsored channel, um, hence, you know, we're sort of a little bit fighting the, the, man, the manufacturers a little bit on that side of things. Not really trying to, just trying to make it so it's better for everybody. But we're not sponsored, so if you can support us, there's various ways you can do that. Um, we've got links below, we've got links on our, on our channel page, uh, and, there's, and there's stuff on our web store which you can support us as well. So very, very grateful for any of that, very much needed to help us in the future. But um, yeah, thanks for checking in on us guys. We'll catch you next time.